Hey folks, welcome back to Parkitect. We are here in Nova Labs. This is a one set, the uh, famous movie sci-fi place, production company that owns it, has put it up for sale. The alien landscape would make for a stellar park that transports visitors to new worlds. Cool. Uh, let's see what we have to do here. We have experience rating of at least 70. Okay. We have a uh, at least 500 parks. People and guests have 250 optional and completed all by August of year two. That's a little new. All right, so that's good. Let's take a look and see what we have here. Uh, we have, um, let's see, oh, we actually have a fairly large map if this is uh, all ours. Is this not ours? What is going on there? Not that button. I always think this is the buy land button. Uh, but if we're going in here, okay, so I can buy that. But the rest of all of this, wow, we own lots of space here that we're going to be able to do lots of things with. I'm just amazed that we get this much space to work with here. Okay, taking a look here and going in, we have this cool little spotlight thing. I haven't seen that before. Look at all this new stuff. What's going on with theming here? So we go in here, uh, I'll probably turn on the rocket stuff because I've had that off before. And when we go into walls, do we have new cool like space walls? There's a doorway there once it loads, there we go. So we have some new doorways. It doesn't really look like there's anything else new for that part. Maybe it's in buildings. Yeah, there we go. Look at all this cool stuff. All right. So we have some cool new things we can play with in there. If we take a look, our food and all that stuff is going to be from over here. And this is a door. So I'm hoping that we can use that as a way to get out. And we also have our pathway there. Okay. We have this little conduit thing running, which I haven't seen. Ooh, look at all these little doodads. And it's going over to this building, which is really nothing. But we could do something with it if we want it. And then we have a little rocket area. Oh, no, that's not even ours. Okay, so that's where our guests are generating from. They, it looks like they land at this kind of spaceport thing and then come through. And we have this cool little uh, garden of some type here. All right, cool. I like the rock work here. We use different colors instead of the grays. We have some browns and tans in there, which looks nice. Um, it does really have that alien kind of feel. I dig it. Uh, let's take a look at our rides here and see what we got. So we have bumper cars, general monorail ride, and a motion simulator. Okay, we can use two of those. I don't like this thing. This is, I, I just don't get it. It doesn't seem like fun. Thrill rides, all right, we have a top spin. Awesome, and we also have a Gravitron. Great. Uh, coaster wise, we have a powered coaster, a spinning coaster, and a steel coaster. So we have a decent selection of rides to start off with here. No transportation rides and no water rides. Cool. Uh, so let's go in here. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of this conduit area. Uh, Cause I want to build a food court of some type over here. And in order to do that, I think, oh, I can't remove it. Am I not allowed? Oh, okay. So I'm not allowed to remove any of the pre-existing stuff. All right. That makes it a little different. Uh, let's go in there. We'll get these painted. Same color as that. Did I do that right? There, now I did it right. Okay. So we're going to extend this path out like so. We're going to have this one go out like so. We got to be able to, yeah, we can at least get rid of paths. I'm not going to worry about that building right now because it's not important to us. Uh, and I'm also going to knock out these areas here because I don't think they actually, oh, this one kind of loops around. We'll leave that as it is. Uh, but we'll have it come up and do something like that just to kind of give a little bit wider of a path here for us. And we'll have to knock out those guys. All right. So our next step is to kind of see what we want to do. I really do want to make a food court, but if I can't make a path in here, like, can I, is that like going to be, okay. I don't like that. I can't remove that. All right. So we'll just deal with that. Um, I guess food court wise, let's see. We have all this land that we could buy over here. We have a lot of, we have a lot of flat land, which is awesome. Uh, so we're going to build up some amusement stuff in this area. Uh, I'll probably put a coaster over here, the main rides, and then uh, maybe like a food court either over here or somewhere over there. I don't know. Uh, let's start off with a, just do some, stu nah, let's, let's do the fun stuff first. So let's go in and build a coaster. Uh, we're going to do a steel coaster here. No, no, no. I don't want to do that. I want to build just a regular steel, steel coaster. There we go. Okay. So let's go in here and this could be actually the exit for that ride. That would be kind of cool. So let's do that. So that will be kind of the end of our station. So we'll do something like that. We'll take a look at what we have. It will be six cars, four. Okay. We can even do lift hills on the turns. Neat. All right. Uh, and then we're going to have this bad boy start heading up. 
and doing its thing. And we're going to try to fill this space over here with this coaster. So turn it, have it go down like so. Did I not put the lift tool on there? Oh no, I did. It's okay. I thought I saw the train going backwards and that would have been a problem. So I'll flatten that bad boy out. Ooh, we can't do that because we ran out of space. That's not a problem. We can do that. Go off to the right. And I don't know why, I just don't like to have the big giant uh, sections of that kind of there. I like having them be just a tad smaller. And we'll hit that one there. Then we'll fly up. Can I go? Oh, we don't even make it through that. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't minus that. My bad. Okay. I was gonna, okay. <laughs> Oh, we're off to a terrible start. Um, I, I'm not a fan of that setup there. So let's first off just see if we can make it through that. Um, I would like that to jump out the other way, like so. And then we can have that do some things. Okay, so we can do that. Cool. Then we'll go into a nice little half loop. Have that come out the other way. And have a dipsy do around there a little bit. Just gonna have this, I think, dive down a bit. Not going for anything super creative or amazing here. I just want something that fits with what we have. Not sure why I have that at such an extreme angle. It doesn't need to be quite that crazy. 45 is more than enough, I think. Give us some good laterals and have it set up for what we want. And then I'm going to, this is going to be a relatively quick coaster, I think. With some unnecessary looping sections, but that's okay. Let's see here. So if I bring those in there, I just need to have that one go out just a little farther. This guy will be two. Bring that down to one. And then we'll come into our break run. One, two, three, break run. We're trimming that speed no matter what. Build it. All right. Uh, so we'll have our entrance here. The exit will be there. Let's take a look and see where we're at. I need that intensity to probably go up just a little bit. If it doesn't want to, what I'll do over here is I'll do it, have it do a corkscrew or two and then bring it back in. That might make it just a touch more intense. I love that big drop, slow drop into that one where it should fly through it a little quicker and immediately you rock it out to the other side. Go into a couple of dropped helixes and then dipsy do around. The excitement rating I'm good with, but we just need to up that intensity just a tad. All right, so let's go back here and practice doing that. All right, so we're gonna bring that out flat. And then we'll do one and two. I don't think we're gonna be able to fit this one in there. Oh, that would be cool if we could though. Nope, it'd be cool though. All right, uh, so let's see if we put it on any bigger. We'll 
do something like that, I think. Off by one. All right, let's see what that does now. Not positive this is going to do anything too big for our ratings, but we'll see. Still at medium. All right, let's try. Well, first off, let's bump up our lift hill speed. So it does the first part of that course a little more. See if we do that. Yeah, we got a little more intense there real fast, but that's okay. Ooh, coming out of that, we don't want that. We want to just flatten out. There we go. We got our high intensity rating already, and then we'll just add in our brakes. Have it do its turn. And then our brake run going there like so. All right, so we have, uh, all we really did was edit the bottom and this area is where it's gonna get the most intense. So there's not even a really smooth transition. You kind of flip over there, really rock it through that, do a quick corkscrew into a bunny hop, come in for the brakes. And then you're back in the station and we got our high rating, cool. Uh, let's just call this Mars Attacks. because we look like we're on a Martian area here. All right, we have that. Uh, our queue, while we have this queue here, that's gonna be our exit for this ride. What I really actually might do is build the actual line inside of here and have the queue just kind of drop you out over on this area because we can put some more rides over here if we'd like. Let's, let's explore that idea and see what that actually looks like. All right, so if we do something like that, we're gonna use this steel plate, I think, that will look nice for what we have here. All right, that should work. We have this little Q area set up, it has all of that, and then it pops you out. All right, I'm happy with that. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about painting or anything like that. Let's charge 10 bucks for that. We'll open that bad boy up and uh, we should be good with that. And the ride time, not a respectable, but it's a short 41 seconds. So they're not going to get a whole bunch in there for that. Uh, I'm not going to go crazy with the, actually, let's go with these guys and we'll make like a little glass uh, area for them to exist in. So built on all of this. Nope, I don't want that. My mouse is uh, very sensitive these days. It likes to click around on me and I'm not sure what's going on with it. See, I didn't do anything there. It just wants to click away. All right, but that's that's a problem for a different time. So we're gonna have that. It's gonna kind of almost be like an airlock kind of thing. Uh, we will put on glass walls wherever they are at. There they are.
I'm really having a difficult time clicking today. I don't know what the deal is here. All right, so then I need to have the angled ones there. And there. And there. And right there. We'll get our small little area for that. Oh my. I'm having all kinds of problems here. I apologize. All right, there we go. We got that part in. Now we'll go back over. We have our glass doorways. It doesn't really super fit, but that's okay. I'm not super worried about that. From what I've seen with these ones where they want uh, an experience rating, you don't need to do a ton of theming. You just need to make sure that it doesn't look like complete garbage. Uh, so that's kind of my goal here is... <laughs> What is this name of this park again? Nova Labs, not complete garbage. And that should work for this area here. All right, so we'll get that in there. I am not gonna go glass on the roofing. Uh, as far as roofs go, I think I'm gonna go pretty simple here. Just do, not that one, this one, yeah. I've seen some incredible people build some stuff on this one, like really just make out of this world uh, coasters for it and also just the, the park itself. I've, I saw one that had like a, a, it was a, I think it was a hydraulically launched coaster and it had it go all the way up like this rocket tower. So you almost like were taking off out of it. It was super cool. I will not be building anything near that cool, but people can and it's super cool that they do. Uh, I just, I don't have that skill set, at least not yet. Uh, so we have that, uh, we'll throw on nice little bumper cars here in the back. Have that stretch around, we'll open that one up. I know it doesn't have a path, give me a second. Alright, so we have that there. This area is kind of dead if you can't do anything in there, which is kind of bummer. And then we need a thrill ride. Gravitron is the clear favorite for this because what else would you put in here? And we'll throw that as close to these rocks as we can, like so. Put the entrance to the back, like that. Open that up. And then we're gonna get ready to run this park here in just a moment. We have a couple small things we still need to do. We need a little food court, which I think I'm going to put in here because some of these rocks, I can't remove the rocks. Okay, never mind. Uh, but let me see if I can get the depot. Yeah, we can go a depot here and then some shops right up in front. Um, and we don't have a super long distance for these to go. Still kind of bummed out that I can't uh, remove that one little section of stuff, but it's what it is. What is, what height are you at? Uh, all right, so let's try to get a better view here of this and see where we're at. All right, so right there is our height. Okay, so it's at one and a half and where are you at? Two, okay, so you just need to come down There we go. Okay. Cool, we have that. There's a lot of red in this park. We need to, I didn't even look at the shops. Uh, okay. So we'll have our drinks. We'll have a vending machine because we don't have any other food apparently. What else will we have? Toilets, and let's do one more thing. I guess a cash machine. All right. So we'll add on our staff walkway. We'll add on the two shops they're responsible for, and then we need to definitely theme this bad boy up a little bit to get it to be what we want it to be. So while there's a lot of red here, I'm going to keep that kind of going just for right now. And 
elements. Let's see here. There's our solid wall. There it is. We'll do the color picker and we'll grab the red. And then we can just box this in. And I don't know if it's necessary to divide these things. I just think it looks a little bit nicer. And to hide some of that it just looks a little nicer. Uh, as far as roofing goes, what do we have? Could do one of those things. I don't quite want to do that. Maybe, maybe those buildings, right? Yeah, maybe I could do one of these type of things on the top here. So we'll just uh, make a base for the corners here. Like so. Maybe I'll just do it across the whole thing. That's very industrial looking. I kind of like it. Uh, and then we can add maybe one of these things on top. So bring that up. I have no idea what this is, but that's fine. We'll do that. Oh, we can do a little connector going up. Sure, why not? I don't think we have one of those in the park yet as far as... Oh, we do. Okay, I lied. Uh, and then we'll add one of these things. Wow, that's enormous. But it's fine. This is for immersion. This is how you get guests emerge in your park is by building weird stuff like this. So we have that done. Uh, cool, I guess. Yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, and then as far as seating and all that stuff goes, I think these uh, concrete benches are kind of the right look for this park. So I'll put those in very quickly. go here. Just going to do a few little odds and ends. And we need to do the area here in front of the bumper cars. Uh, for people who are more experienced at this game, does it matter or is it beneficial in any way to have uh, what I'm trying to ask here? To have paths that are one or two or wider or smaller? I, I just don't know if that's a uh, something that's necessary in this game or not uh if it's desirable for the guest or if it's just uh me being me and liking it to look a certain way uh, so if you've played this game more than i have which is highly likely just let me know if uh there's a better way to go through and do this and i like these little lamps here i think those look the futuristic ones i give you by default i don't think look super great so i want to do these ones here I think they look just a touch nicer. They're a lot more out of the way as well. Um, even though I don't ever run this game in the mode where it has stuff at night. It's still nice to think that it could. Alright. I would think we're good with that. Nope. I think we're good with that. Let's hire a couple of people to work at our park. All right, we have those people there. Our hauler is going to be getting his brand new area like that. And Mr. Hauler, Brian Davis, you are now in work zone one. All right, I still need that a staff room. Uh, I'll probably dump that somewhere down here just to hide or maybe over here, I don't know. Uh, but we need to get our staff room in there still. So let's quickly knock that out. And I don't know if it makes sense to spend time training staff in this game either. So I don't really ever tend to do that. Uh, I don't know if that matters or not for most of what this game does. But maybe it does. I don't know. Let me know. Uh, so we have that. Uh, I guess I should probably build some walls and hide that bad boy up. Why did that go up? I don't 
want that gold pawn to be there. All right, we have that. You're going to get the same red treatment, like so. Doors, we have that. Do the same thing over there. And then as far as roofs go, I think we're just going to go with the basic space one that we had. Unless it's in, it's in buildings, isn't it? Yeah, it's in buildings. Okay. So we'll do that. And... You get that thing. Cool. Alright. Let's go ahead and open this park up. Set our research. I think uh, as a thrill ride is a good beginning step here. This really isn't themed all that well, and that's okay for right now. So don't need to super worry about that. Let's go in and see if we can add in any cool plants or anything. Uh, stuff that would make sense here. So, uh, we'll go over into plants. So, we could just change, like, set this to, like, a purple color. And now, all of a sudden, that turns into something that looks like it kind of sort of fits in here. So we'll do something fun like that. It's a different pop of color for the park. Uh, it's definitely not going to be something that's all over the place because this was a pretty sparsely populated area. So we'll continue to keep it sparsely populated, but just add some different pops of color here. This one, uh, let's have it be like this yellow kind of color. Do we have any cool looking trees? So even like like the willow tree could look really cool if we change the color. So let's change that to like a, a black almost or a dark gray. What does that look like? Okay. It's creepy enough to work. I like it. There we go. Okay. So we're getting guests into the park right now. They hopefully are getting drawn towards the back uh, area here where they can go on Mars Attacks. We have our bumper coasters, or our bumper cars, excuse me, and our Gravitron. And it's a nice little setup there. Uh, what we'll probably eventually do is this pathway is gonna come up here, over, and back. So we're gonna have to have some rides over here. Um, we just don't have a, well, I guess we could do the motion simulator uh, and get that in there. Uh, and then we have uh, a couple more coaster stuff that we can do. Uh, thrill Ride Rise, we're still pretty lacking, so we need to focus on that a little bit down the road. Really quickly, I just want to see what these... Like, see, these ones make more sense here in this level. Like, Space Race, that would look awesome in this park. Like, look at that thing. It's gorgeous. It's just expensive. That ride's $900, but with the theming, it costs a whole lot more. Uh, and I could just stick it into a box, and it will give me roughly the same ratings. I'll save me lots of money, so we're not going to go bananas with anything right yet. We can do that a little down the road. Alright, we have our basic path here. We'll do something like that, and then we have that. Right, we'll open that up right now. I also don't want to close off this area over here because we do have a small expansion area that we can deal with. Uh, well, let's go in and add some basic theming to this area here. Uh, we're going to go with this. Uh, there we go. That's what I want. And yeah, we're gonna have this go 
pretty intensely up here. Alright, nothing. Again, we're not going crazy with anything here in particular. Uh, that needs to be a different color though. This is kind of drab green color. Then we'll do the roof the same drab green kind of color. And it shouldn't come out of that, but now it's kind of covered up there, which I like. All right. All right, we're getting more visitors attracted to our park already because of problems at other parks. Thank you, other parks. Trash cans, where's my trash can at? There it is. All right, so we have people going on this. Uh, what is its max revenue if we're, well, let's see what people are thinking of it. So the satisfaction's okay. The excitement rating is very high, which is nice. It's up over the 70s. This one, the, the intensity is close to that as well. Um, What's our max profit if this thing were really rolling full force? So, max profit's $2,000. So if we can get that thing maxed out, which is not gonna happen, but if we did, uh, we could make a fair amount of money pretty quickly in this park, which is nice. Taking a look at our guests, their happiness is good. Uh, immersion is getting there. We still need to do some more, but it's, it's slowly getting to the point that's uh, better for us. And uh, yeah, let's take a look and just uh, get some information here about the ride or the park overall. Decorations, they're really happy with this area. Um, this area, not so much. So maybe we'll build, we have space fences. <laughs> sounds silly to ask, but uh, that, that may be a thing. I'm not sure. Yeah, look, see, it was silly to ask, but we do have space fences. So we'll put some space fences in here. There we go. All of a sudden, look at the immersion, ready? It's not gonna be very immersive, right? Um, but the, Decoration rating, see, just that little bit. People are like, okay, I get what's going on here. I like it, I can dig it. Just from that little bit of uh, work there. And then as far as kind of, should I have probably like a regular fence going in here? Um, just trying to think, something like that probably will work just fine. Even though my mouse wants to go the wrong way, no. that back I'm always interested to see in this game like just the basic little that's I didn't do that much I just added a fence around there but the decoration rating went up almost instantly just because of that little bit which I think is pretty cool uh, so if we go in here and let's take a look and see details do we have any details that are space based so we have our little okay they're cable but conduit whatever so we don't have that we're to look at buildings we definitely have those um, archways nope nothing in there Okay, let's go props. We don't need a fountain. Large props. Okay, we do have some really large plops, props here. Medium ones. We have a relay, so we can just stick stuff like this all over the place if we wanted to. And I don't know what this thing is, but it looks kind of neat. I like it. Large ones are already small. Okay, so we have these little things here that we can kind of just pop around. They increase in size. They can. Alright. Cool. And I don't think that really helps a whole lot, but take a look. It's just uh, helping mellow out 
what's going on with that. And I'm okay if we can just mellow out some of this. Um, we have the park there, it looks nice. We are getting people to ride this ride. Like it's, it's not full, but it's not going out empty either. So that's good. Uh, bumper cars are rocking and rolling. Our Gravitron's rolling along here. So let's speed up the game a little bit. We're almost up to 200 guests. Should be turning a problem here real soon. Let's see what's our research. Go karts, okay. Go karts could be fun. We could have it try to interact a little bit over here, possibly, um, or just do kind of something in this area. Not really sure. I almost rather a different ride, but that's okay. Uh, was oh 250 yes okay. So we're not anywhere close to that quite yet, but that's okay. Uh, we have plenty of stuff we can do here. I'm not a big fan of spin coasters. Still the top spin we could put in if we wanted to. Let's take a look and see what a pathway back here would look like. Something like this. Very easily get that section set up. And, yeah. So we have that. That in as well, so people will be able to walk around, but it's not really going to be too big of a deal. Let's level out this whole area here. We'll go back and uh, slow it down. We'll build our go-kart area back here. Even though there's a lot of area we can buy, uh, we can do a little more, and then we'll put a top spin over there, maybe. Or maybe we'll do the opposite, put the top spin in this spot back here yeah it's probably gonna be better so I'll put our top spin somewhere like that and wrap our stuff around we'll open that up I guess we'll have to add some fencing back there as well Space fence, space fence. Oh, it makes a fun sound when you do it. This makes absolutely no sense. There's zero reason for this to exist in this park, but that's okay. Like, it, the colors don't match. It roughly fits the theme of the park, but that's fine. Uh, we have that. Cool. <laughs> oh, we can color the hedges, too. That's kind of neat. All right, so let's see. These kind of look like they would fit into a park like this as well. They have that same red color that most of the rest of the park has, so we can throw some of these, what are these, maples? Yeah, some maples, and these guys in here also have a color palette that kind of fits. It's almost like a pastel -y kind of color palette that's throughout this park, so it kind of fits that area, and we can get those in there without much trouble. And I just need to go in and add some plants and do some fun stuff there. So we'll continue adding some purple plants. These guys here. Alright, so our Tilia bushes, those were yellow color. There we go. Okay, that looks fine. If we go in and take a look at our decoration ratings. Falling off a little there, but still not terrible. And then we have, we're going to build our go-karts over here. I want to leave a little space. Uh, maybe I'll put a, a potential path down in the future down here for something. And heck, this could even be where the go-karts load up at. Uh, so let's go in. I haven't really built go-karts before much. So let's go in and take a look and see what they are and what we can do with them. All right, so... Are the number of carts related to how big the station is? Yes. Okay. That's good to know. 
So we can do that. Oh, we can even bank them. Awesome. All right, so we can do some silly stuff here. We'll have this go up. down here. Could put a little bank on that. It looks so cool. It's a really basic go-kart, but it should work for what we're doing here. Let's take a look. Do we have it? That's what are our options. So we can choose a number of laps. Okay, that's kind of cool. So maybe get six laps out of it. We'll see what happens with that. And then we're going to have to stick some cool stuff throughout here and theme this area up. Maybe we'll even build a building around this to just kind of maybe try to make it look a little bit more like we planned on doing what we did. So the excitement's very low, intensity is medium, nausea is very... Ah, I don't like that at all. Okay, so we have uh, met one of our goals. Let's go back and delete this because I'm not thrilled with that. Let's build another coaster. So we have, uh, let's see, we have a powered coaster. Let's see what the powered coasters look like. Okay, we can do something fun like that. Let's go in here. This is going to be a completely indoor ride, I think. Oh, and we can even... Okay, cool. So we'll do something like that. And then we'll have it come in like so. Can target velocity go higher if it's a longer track? Nope. Okay. Just checking. Hey, we have 250 guests, which means we get a lot of money. Awesome. All right, so I have that. And we're basically just stacking this bad boy right on top of itself. Okay, we can't do that one. So now, can I turn it? If I turn it less, I can build straight, okay. Then we'll do this. All right, that's fine. You in there, you down there. So let's take the entrance and put it over here. And it's going to do a total of three. Let's do four laps. And we're going to max out how many cars you can have as well. All right. So then we can have that one just pop immediately down. The line here is also going to pop immediately down, but... It's going to get into some shenanigans here real fast with the rest of everything.
All right, that's a ridiculous line for this ride, but that's fine. Because we're gonna make this a whole lot more fun here in just a couple of moments when we get to build some walls and stuff around it. I think it should look kind of neat. Uh, and let's see what we can do here to make it look better. Um, okay, so I think we're just going to do basic scaffolding here for the beginning parts, and then we're going to kind of soup it up a little bit more as we get into this. But let's just start with the basics of building this big metal box where everything's going to exist at. So I have just the basic metal box. I think and kind of outline this thing Seems like I'm wasting a tremendous amount of time doing this, but we'll see what happens here. This is an ugly building. I apologize. And I'm not talking a lot here because I'm a little embarrassed by this building. It's not a pretty building. I'm not good at making pretty buildings, but uh, this is ugly even for me. But what we might be able to do is have doors. Actually, let me finish doing this part here first. So we'll have that. We're going to make just a big curved roof. So I'm going to use that same red color to do the curves for me. Do something like that. Then we'll just have a half wall be the same color. guest intake is kind of shut off here so we need to get some cooler rides open here real soon we're going to switch this over to coasters here oh we have g-lock coming that's nice that will be a, a helpful one for us uh, and then we're going to go over to roofs grab our curve piece throw that over top the same thing there this guy is going to be Same color as those things.
People are liking topspin at least. Got all these going in here. There we go. We got our, our G lock. Okay. I'm sorry. Did I say G lock or chop spin earlier? We got a G lock, which is great because that's a really fun ride that guests really, really do like. Uh, I'm not going to put that one in the building because it takes up a lot of space, but it's a good ride to have. Uh, it's a good kind of filler flat ride that people really do honestly enjoy. And then down here. And this little roofing area there. And yeah, I probably should put in some walls there to just kind of finish those off, but that's a problem for another time right now. I just want to get this building done because it's taking me entirely too long to do all of this. Why does it keep turning? All right, and. And call this ride Rocket Man. You can see I'm very, very creative with my naming here. We're going to test that. You can add it as part of the park already, though. I guess I really need to work on the benches and all that stuff for this area, too. I didn't add anything. I added this whole little area here with no benches. So one, two, three. Let's start off here. Two. to hire more uh, handymen because we expand the park a lot as far as pathways go and there's still only two of them running this whole place so we need some help we have one out and I guess the other one's in other areas there we can see there oh they're both out there but you can see there's trash cans that are full uh, we need to get this park looked after a little better We'll hire an additional mechanic, and we're definitely going to have to hire some more security guards. There we go. Okay. This coaster here is doing good for us. This one here, we still need to open. So let's take the time to do that and open it up. And hopefully that will attract some people to go towards it. Oh, I also want to add doors. That's what I wanted to do. Do they open and close for a coaster? So I want to say, I don't know. Nope. No point in having those. All right, so we'll do that. It's not a good looking park, but it's not a bad looking park either. It's just, it's kind of a park. Uh, and then 
we have our G-Lock, it's going to go right back here, I think. It's a big old ride. Which is going to require a big old line for it. But I'm happy with... I like this ride. It's a cool ride. It usually gets lots and lots and lots of people on board. Which is exactly what we need. And... Billion-wise... Yeah, we could do something like this. change the color of this thing. So I'll do that. No. Okay. up the game a little bit here. Let's see what our guests are thinking. They really like the price of their stuff there. Mars attacks they like. Lots of people there. Senior here is amazing. But nobody's uh Mars attacks is too intense. Oh that's this one. Okay yeah okay that's fine. Let's see, what did we make last month on that ride? So we made theoretically half of its, uh, a little over half of its total projected earnings there, which is cool. I'm probably gonna add another bathroom and informa information kiosk somewhere back here, probably in this area. So let's take a moment to do that. We're just gonna make that go back to. We'll do our building stuff. I'll be part of the same kind of basic structure here. We'll do that. almost looks like I planned that. Okay, so now let's go in and add on our information kiosk. There's no shopkeeper, it's not open yet, but it will be soon. And then in here we'll add on our clothes. And we can cover up that little spinning information thing with uh, some type of decoration. What do we got? Where are their props, or large prop? Yeah. There we go. We do have a small line for Rocket Man, which is fine. Let's add in some more trees in this area just to give us a little more cover.
I know it's going to some of these. Just trying to stick with that kind of pastel kind of palette here. As far as decoration goes, yeah, we're pretty happy with most of this stuff, which is kind of cool. It's nothing amazing. They're not, like, jumping out of their seats about it, but it works for what we need to do. So I'm happy with that. Uh, and uh, we're getting closer, marching towards our goal of having the right number of people on here. So we have a Giga Coaster coming up, which is going to be awesome. That should hopefully give us enough money and bring enough people in to uh, win this thing up. Um, and this is August year two, correct? Not August year one. Yeah. So we're almost done this scenario. We have about 120-ish more people to go. And uh, we're still in year number one. So we still have a full year left on the calendar before we have to really worry about uh, winning the scenario. And I think we're going to be able to do that without any problems here. Mars attacks got struck by lightning. That's not good. That's our premier ride here. Can't have that thing get hit. basic fencing on there. Let's speed this bad boy up. We only have a couple of operational rides. One of them is this guy here, which makes me happy because uh, we take a look to say, yeah, increased popularity during rain. Awesome. So we have this ride, which is loading up on people. Uh, we have a couple other small ones, which are doing their thing, but we have options for everybody uh, to get out of there. This is a substantial thunderstorm. There we go. Okay. I think after we get the gig coaster, we might want to take a look at some uh, shops because we need some more food options here in this park. Uh, this is great, but it's not that much. But we're making our money back on it, which is cool. Uh, and as far as giga coaster goes, um, that's probably going to. I don't know. Maybe exists back here. I could have built the station in here and had it fly out, but I don't want to do that. I just want to have a station. Actually, we'll probably put it like right here. Have it go out, do its thing, come back. It's not going to be a super complicated coaster, but I want to at least make it look like it's going to be fun. Come on, Giga Coaster. Let's go. Move that bar. It's moving ever so slowly, and I don't think if I up the money, it's really going to do much here. What do our loans look like? Because we're probably going to need... Gig Coaster is just stupidly expensive in this game, so... We need some loans. Oh, we have plenty. We're fine. Get some rain. We have 100 guests left to get. Uh, but we're going to start off on our next Big Daddy ride here, which is going to be our Giga Coaster. That's going to just come in here. Something like that. Let's see. What do we got as far as... Yeah, I want this thing, like, as maxed out as it can get. See, I, I used up all of my money just on the lift hill for this thing. It's just stupidly expensive. Uh, we'll take this loan out. 
And we have $9,000 to build the rest of this ride. <laughs> All right. Actually, we're going to make it slightly shorter. Just because I want to be able to fit everything in here without any problems. So, keep it like that. Have it go into an immediate turn, kind of like Intimidator 305. Straighten it out and then have it head skyward again. It's at 13 or 16.34 or three quarters, excuse me. So we should be able to clear that no problem. And we only have we only have 400 or so people in this park. So we're try shooting for 500, so I don't think we're going to have to really shoot for like a crazy capacity kind of ride here. Head chopper there, not super big deal, but should be kind of neat. Okay, we just need to bring that a little bigger. I ran through $9,000 there. Awesome. So we'll take out $8,000 loan. And we should be able to pay this off without too much trouble. So I'm not terribly uncomfortable taking that money out. Straighten itself out. Actually, we need to go a little farther, don't we? Which is totally fine. And just see what we have here. Yeah, that was going to work. Okay. So we'll do that, and like so. Am I off by one? Nope. Okay. Let's see what we got. We're only gonna have two trains. Four cars per train, we'll increase that. And let's see what we have. 
Why is there only one train? Why are you not doing what I want you to do? Oh, 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 oh. Okay. The problem is I have two block breaks there, so that's not going to be a block break. No, it's just going to be a regular one there. And then we can bring it back up to that. Then we can test. All right. Let's just take a look and see what's going on with this coaster. There we go. And we're back in real time here, so dropping through. Lose a good bit of speed there. Big floater, but slow air time. The back area would be blast right there. Going through this one should go through a little bit faster, which it does. Again, big floater air if you're in the back of the ride. That would go through this big spaghetti bowl kind of thing. It's kind of something I really like to do on this because you can't do this very nicely in Roller Coaster Tycoon, so I like being able to do it here. Into our little S-Bend, through a couple smaller Camelbacks. This one's even smaller. Keeping that speed up. And then we'll just dip behind the drop there. Coming out with some speed. One last little pop of air for the people in the front. And then we come in to our brakes. What do we got? Okay, I'll take that. Let's see. If we wanted to build this out, it would go out like that. So we'll do that. And this one's just gonna come down, down, in there. No, no, no. Alright, let me try it again. Alright, that sounds good. I'm happy with that. Let's build that in there. And I don't know, what do we want to call this one? We'll call it lift off. And the ride is a minute and five seconds long, so I do want this thing to time out a little bit more. Hopefully this ride will bring in the number of guests that I want it to, to kind of just finish this scenario off. So I'm not super thrilled with anything I built here, I'm not in love with any of it. There we go. Got a TV show talking about us already. Got burgers, alright, that's good. Definitely sustainable there. Uh, we'll switch our shops over to... Go with uh, Comrade, should be a little easier. And of course it's raining right when we get our first kind of setup here. Our initial thoughts are they want to go on it, but not while it's raining, which I totally get. Here we get more people back to this ride. We are increasing our numbers pretty quickly here, which is nice. We'll advertise here. Do it on the radio for, let's say, three months. I'll start advertising there. And hopefully that should, between the park closing, between all this other stuff happening, we should hopefully be able to Increase our numbers. It looks like it's going up. We're just waiting for that 500th guest. 
and then we should be there. We got it. Oh, we have to wait for three weeks. Okay. That should not be a problem. I know I've completed all non-optional goals. Now we just need to wait for that to fill up. Just take a look at our guests. Yeah, you see our hunger's creeping up there. So maybe as that's all happening, we can... Do we build another food court right here? I think we do. All right, let me pause it real fast just so I don't ruin my guest experience. We'll slap a depot down there. And we just are going to drag it to connect with the other one. Oops, yeah, that's right. We have to go down one, don't we? Okay. So we did that. Then we can put in some drink stands and a food stand. So burgers go in there. A soft drink stand is going there. And we'll put an umbrella stand too because all of a sudden it starts raining a lot at this park. Throw those in there and then we'll attach all these bad boys together. One, two, and three. Staff and we'll set up our zone first this time. Even though I misclicked again. We'll add a second hauler. You are now assigned to zone number two. And we just need to theme that up. We'll do something like this. Just a nondescript white building. Hold on, not that color. Let's do this random blue stripe through here. Adding on a quick thing, even though our burger is coming completely through there, I strongly dislike that all these games have to have this like ridiculous theming for these types of things. Just, I just don't get it. But this area is going to be very popular with a, a, hopefully a good coaster here that people are excited to go on. And then we have a, a whole lot of food and other things ready to go here. We just need to get our shopkeepers in there. Two and three. There we go. We're dropping multiple guests to our park. We're at. Let's see if we can get to 550 before we uh, officially win a scenario here. And how close were you to getting a high? Yeah, it's, we're real close to a high intensity as well. Um, so somebody, only one person wants to go on something just a little bit more intense, which is fine. And going down here, let's see, how's our cash machine doing here? Not a ton of money out of here. Only withdrawn a little bit. And there we go. Confetti, we've done it. We have beaten Nova Labs with... Uh, a different selection of rides and parks here. So we have uh, our original coaster, which is uh, maintaining its popularity at 81% satisfaction. We have our brand new Giga Coaster, which is ridiculously expensive at 82% satisfaction. Uh, if we take a look at how much it costs, the construction cost is $17,000. <laughs> and then we have this thing over here, as far as coasters go, which is basically just loops in on itself a couple times. Um, and satisfaction with that is 83. So. Uh, we, we've done uh, not a, a ton here, but we have a lot of stuff going on. I'm pretty happy with uh, at least how some of this turned out. I think uh, I could have done a better job as far as theming goes. I do like these pops of color. I think a lot of this stuff looks nice. It's just that, uh, yeah, could have done better, but uh, we got the job done. So that's going to wrap it up for today. I hope to see you guys in the future, and thanks for checking out this video. I'll see you later.